Welcome to the OpenEdge Command Center. Let's take a few minutes to get to know the interface and go over a few first-time tasks that you need to complete. This is the Command Center dashboard. From here, you can renew newly discovered Command Center agents and paths for OpenEdge instances, review and act on banner notifications, and access quick links. To quickly access your agents, Paths for Open Edge instances, and more, use the sidebar menu. In this video, we will explore each tab and show you what they can do. Before we get started, let's take care of those banner notifications. The banner notifications alert you to outstanding tasks. As a super administrator, the first task to complete is configuring your email settings. After you configure your email settings, you can create new users and manage your OpenEdge Command Center deployments. Click the link to go to the email settings from the sidebar menu. Enter the SMTP hostname and port name. To enable HTTPS connections, select the Secure Connection checkbox. Alternatively, you can use the Start TLS option to customize your connection. If your mail server requires, you can enable SMTP authentication. Now send a test email to ensure that your connection is valid. Click Save when you're done. Now that your email settings are confirmed, you can create a user from the Users tab. The permissions that a user has are dependent on the user's role. To create a new user, enter their name, email, and username. Add a description if necessary, and choose a role from the drop-down list. Click Save to create the new user. Super administrators can perform all actions on the OpenEdge Command Center, including deleting and changing user roles. An administrator has all the powers that a super administrator does, except that they cannot assign a super administrator role. Let's move on to the second banner notification. Before you can link a new agent to the command center, you must generate an agent key. The agent key is what connects your agents, OpenEdge instances, and the command center. If it's your first time generating an agent key, you can access the Agent Keys tab from either the Notification banner or from the sidebar menu. Click Generate Agent Keys. You can edit the key name from this dialog box. The generated key remains hidden until it's saved. Click Save to confirm the name. On the new Agent Key window, you can view, copy, and download the agent key. This is the only time that the agent can be viewed or downloaded. However, you can generate a new key at any time. The agent key downloads as a JSON file. You can edit this file or copy the agent key and use it to link the agent and the command center together. Next, let's talk about the command center agents. On the Command Center Agents tab, you can view and manage the agents linked to your OpenEdge deployments. When you link your agent to the Command Center with your agent key, the agent automatically discovers paths for OpenEdge instances and connects them to the Command Center. You can edit the name and the labels associated with the agent by clicking its name. You can also unregister an agent from the Actions menu. When you under-register an agent, it removes the agent in any paths for OpenEdge instances associated with that agent and renders the key void. After the agents are set up, we can take a look at the paths for OpenEdge instances. On the paths for OpenEdge instance tab, you can add new instances manually or manage the ones already registered to the command center. To manually register an instance, enter the instance name the OpenEdge installation that it uses, 
and any label that you want to be associated with this instance. Then, indicate your security model and your instance directory. Now, enter your port information and Apache Tomcat Manager credentials. To view the ABL and web applications hosted in a Paths for Open Edge instance, click the checkbox next to the instance. The Applications section displays the ABL applications. Select an ABL application to view the web application, its deployment path, the number of services, and the status of the four transports. Now, let's take a look at the ABL Applications tab. The ABL Applications tab enables you to manage ABL applications that are deployed across multiple Paths for Open Edge instances and the associated web applications and REST services. The ABL Applications pane displays a list of ABL applications that are deployed on the different Paths for Open Edge instances. The list displays the name of the ABL applications, the Paths for Open Edge instance, where they are deployed, and the Open Edge Command Center agent for the Paths for Open Edge instances. To sort the list, click the required column header and the arrow displayed beside the header. You can filter the ABL applications list by entering a search string. You can filter ABL applications based on their name, the Paths for Open Edge instance they're installed on, and the Open Edge Command Center agent. The list of ABL applications is refreshed automatically. However, to manually refresh the list, click the Refresh button. You can also deploy additional ABL applications from this pane. The Web Applications pane displays the web applications that are deployed on the ABL application that is selected in the ABL Applications pane. The details of the web applications are displayed in separate cards. You can sort the web applications cards by name or by service counts. The Services pane displays the service deployed on a web application selected in the Web Applications pane. The details of services are also displayed in separate cards. As activity occurs across your deployment, you can stay up to date by viewing the notifications from the notification bell. If, at any time, you need to find your database or server configuration details, go to the Console Settings. On the Console Settings tab, you can find an in-depth report about your database, single or multi-node details, and the servers that are connected to your command center deployment. This concludes our first look at the Open Edge Command Center. For more information, visit docs.progress.com and search for the Open Edge Command Center. Okay.